me everyone, Niamh here, and I have another double unboxing. We have the Witch's Roots and the Witch's Moon. Um, so I'm doing both of them again today in one sitting. Um, and if you notice, I do have a little bit of a different setup, uh, and that's only because I already had my chair in this position and I didn't want to move it to the other position that I usually film from. So uh, yeah, so it's in this position. It's kind of uh, an odd position and I, I do like the other setup better, but um, so yeah, but that's what it looks like right now. Now, um, as I've said at the beginning of all of my videos uh, for the unboxings, uh, this isn't actually an unboxing, um, more so a walkthrough because I have already gone through the items in the boxes. I can't wait until the camera is on me to look at whatever goodies I got. I just don't have the patience for that. I even, uh, you know, at the start of the month, I start uh, looking on YouTube for people who've already gotten their boxes to see what I'm going to get. So <laughs> I have zero patience with that. So I do already know what's in these boxes and they are all already all pulled out and put to the side. So let's start with the witch's roots. All right. Oh. Okay. So witch's roots. So the theme is the ancient allure. And there's a list of all the items we'll be getting. Okay, and we have this beautiful uh, artwork, the Fairy Elven Star, and I'm very excited about this. Um, I love the uh, Elven Star. Uh, in fact, I normally wear a ring that has it on here. And, I'm, and you know, when I opened this box, I had planned, oh, I should wear my ring during that... <laughs> during the unboxing, but I kind of forgot to grab it. So, and I was exercising, so I took off all of my jewelry and I should have done my nails too, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so uh, this artwork is lovely. It's from A.E. Alden. Um, I, I love fairy themed things. I, I know this fairy has wings. And I am trying to kind of, um, I guess get away from the more fantasy fairy uh, image and more toward a more folklorish view of fairy, which uh, doesn't have wings, you know, because that's a very Victorian thing. Uh, the whole winged uh, creatures uh, with pointed ears is very um, Victorian, and um, and most actual fairies don't actually look like that. So, so I am like trying to move away from that, but at the same time, I do appreciate beautiful artwork and I will definitely look forward to reading this. And I do very much connect with the seven pointed star to represent, um, fairy, uh, witchcraft, fairy belief. So there we go. And on the other side here, now these do come uh, separate. I put them together to keep them safe. Um, and I do also scan them. But the information that we have on this one is amber, and which is a resin, not an herb. So uh, we are getting a resin today, amber resin. I'm not sure if that's showing in the camera. I, I don't know if this setup is, you know, is showing exactly in the right view. I'm kind of looking at the camera real quick to see, but I can't really tell. <laughs> so hopefully this is all in, uh, in frame. <laughs> so of course, again, beautiful artwork. Um, the artwork is the number one reason I continue to get these boxes. Of course, um, I love the items in them uh, and have found them useful. Uh, with the Witch's Roots, I have kind of been waffling about whether I should uh, stop getting the Witch's Roots, only because a lot of there have been several boxes that have been a bit lackluster, though I feel like they have been getting a little better. So the last few boxes I've actually really enjoyed, and I am very happy about a the seven pointed star. Um, yeah, it's just that it comes with a lot of necklaces and that was great at first, but it was just like a necklace after a necklace. I, I kind of enjoy the boxes where it's something a little different. You know, I don't mind getting the necklaces. Um, and some of them I actually love. Um, but you know, just having a variety and we are getting a necklace in this box, spoiler alert, but <laughs> But uh, it's a bit different, so we'll check that out in a minute. So let's see, we have our candle, and this month we have kind of this, it's pink, but it's kind of almost a mauve pink. Um, yeah, and I really like it. 
And um, with these, of course, the beeswax candles, you can open them up and put whatever oil you want in there and whatever herbs and then close it back up. So they're very moldable, which is great. So love the um, pink candle. <laughs> All right, next up. So we have, oh, here, let me grab the incense. So we have Amber Essence, and I have not smelled this. I'm actually, you know, I might like this right now. Let's see. It smells good. I'm pulling out a thing. Let me go get an incense thing. Let's see. I've got an incense holder here. I have no idea if I'm still in frame. <laughs> again there we go let's see that smells almost uh hmm that's interesting it smells um almost woodsy uh oh yeah i like that actually so I actually am a fan of more, um, I don't know, I guess one could say masculine smelling scents. I do tend to prefer those like musky, uh, earthy scents, I guess, uh, versus like the floral scents. Um, cause I, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of like perfumes and stuff, but I like very herbal, uh, woodsy smells and this, I think, smells like that. It's kind of, uh, it's very earthy. So yeah, very nice uh, incense. So next up we have our spray and it initially came with just this cap on, but and then also a, um, a sprayed nozzle. So um, this smells nice. It almost smells like it's got a hint of vanilla in it. Not sure, but love the uh, septogram or heptagram on the top, uh, in, on the front. So yeah, very lovely. I enjoy that. So let's see, next up we have our stone, but this is a, an amber stone and it's super, super light. Like this is really, really light. It, it, it almost feels like I'm holding a, uh, I wouldn't say cheap, but a, like a small plastic toy, but it's like super, super light. You know what I mean? Uh, like a small hollow plastic toy is kind of what it feels like because it's so, so light. Um, but yeah, this is actual amber and I can tell, I can look, I can see the grains, um, in, in it. I'm not sure if I'm on camera, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can see the, uh, lines in there. This is definitely, uh, genuine amber and amber is not heavy so it is very light so yeah very interesting um, and unique for this box which I do enjoy and when it comes to the stones um, that we get in these boxes um, I can take them or leave them uh, because I've kind of stopped buying crystals um, for the most part uh, you know unless I can be sure that that crystal came from a um, humane source. Uh, I've kind of stopped buying crystals. I, I, the, the only new crystals I get are what comes in these boxes. And, um, I know, I think it was last month, the witch's roots came without a crystal. And, uh, a lot of other people were kind of miffed about that, uh, from watching other people's videos, but honestly, I didn't mind it. <laughs> I, I was happy to get, um, uh, whatever else they had in there. So I didn't mind not having a crystal. <laughs> so next up, um, we have a coin here and, uh, it has a, uh, winged fairy uh, and a tree and three stars. And on the back, it says, I grant the beauty, harmony, serenity, uh, beauty, harmony, serenity, which is lovely. Um, 
I may give this to one of my daughters because I, I don't know that I would actually uh, do anything with this. Um, uh, single coins and stuff like this are just not really um, how I personally practice. Uh, I, you know, I just don't really have a need for them. A lot of other people really enjoy having um, just a, but if it had, if, if this was a necklace, I would like it more because I could wear it. So there's, it's more, there's more usefulness for it to me anyway. When it's just a coin, it's, I guess for me, it's kind of just a knickknack, you know? <laughs> so that's just my personal opinion. Um, I might give it to one of my daughters. Um, yeah. My table is shaking a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I think that w one of the, uh, uh, you know, shimmies that I had underneath the, the leg has, um, released itself and gone elsewhere because it, it is moving a little bit. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Um, and then we have our herbs. So we have uh, rose petals, which is fantastic. Love these. And we also have amber resin, which I like. This, this is very unique. I, I do enjoy um, when they do things that are a little bit more unique than the other boxes. So, um, yeah, I, that's very cool. And these actually kind of go with the next thing in the box. And that is the necklace we're getting. Uh, oh, sorry about the dog. Someone's probably walking their dog and how dare they. <laughs> so our dog's going to yell at them. <laughs> Um, so we are, we do have another necklace, um, but this is different. It's more of a locket, which, um, I do appreciate, um, because, you know, like I said, I've been a so sort of sick of ne the necklaces, um, but if it's something unique and different, then I don't mind it so much because then it's kind of cool, you know? Um, and we have something unique and different and cool. <laughs> so this is a locket necklace. And let me see if I can kind of remember how to open this. Oh, right. Um, so this goes up over this. And then there's a stick hanging out that locks in here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up what I'm showing. So hopefully this is, this is fine. It, you can see it. So the... I, I really like the idea of this and it also comes with these um, little pieces of felt that you can uh, put the oil or spray or whatever on on the uh, felt piece and then put some rose petals and maybe some amber resin inside and uh, you can infuse that with your intention and basically carry your spell around in your locket. Um, which I think is wonderful. I think this is a great uh, idea. I love this. Um, it's not just a plain old necklace. There's something cool and interesting and unique about it. And so I really appreciate this. The only negative, <laughs> I feel bad even saying a negative because I am happy that it's something different. Um, the only negative is that I don't really like the design on it. It is a, um, a winged fairy and it's that typical winged fairy, uh, that you see on a, a lot of jewelry. In fact, I have a pair of earrings that has this exact image on it. Um, it's a winged fairy that, and, and it's on both sides, but it looks like it's kind of been like smooshed into, like it's been like molten into the, uh, um, whatever the metal is and probably pewter. I don't know, but, um, it's been smushed so much that you can hardly tell what it is. And I don't know. It, but like I said, I've been kind of getting away from the winged fairy uh, thing anyway. So uh, even if I could see more clearly that, you know, the fairy, I'm not, I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but there we go. Um, if, even if I could see the uh, winged fairy more clearly, um, I wish it was a seven pointed star because we've got this, the, we've got the, um, the spray, we've got the, uh, beautiful, uh, elven star, um, artwork that I would have really enjoyed if this was a seven pointed star. And yeah, so that's, I guess my only gripe is that the image itself isn't very attractive and I, and it does go along with the theme for sure, because it is a fairy. Uh, a winged fairy, but it's, 
Um, I do wish it was the seven pointed star. Yeah, that's just my personal view. And so the, the string is also loose, so you can tie it to wherever you want it. So yeah, but in general, um, yeah, this was a great box. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it, um, it was unique. It was different. Uh, <laughs> those are saying the same things, but, <laughs> um, yes, we got a necklace, but it was, uh, it was a unique necklace. So I, I quite, I quite like that. So yeah, very, very happy with the Witch's Roots box. So let's move on to the Witch's Moon. Okay, so we have the Witch's Moon, and this is the box that it comes in. Very nice, very good. So the Witch's Roots is the cheapest box uh, that, because the company is called Witch's Moon, and this is their main box, which is their medium priced box. The Witch's Roots, which we just saw, is the cheapest. It's more focused on an herb or in, this case it was a resin um, and the witch's moon has more ritual items and uh, I'm I love this box so far I have not had a witch's moon box that I have not liked um, yeah so I I'm definitely so far been extremely happy with my witch's moon boxes all right so I don't get the most expensive box which is the witch's bounty because um that one's uh it's centered around a very expensive jewelry item and um that's just not really my thing <laughs> you know I like I like cheaper jewelry honestly I I you know I just do I kind of like cheaper jewelry so I don't need a really expensive beautiful piece of jewelry um I I can appreciate uh its beauty but especially if I'm going to pay like $70, $80, I think that's how much it costs every month. And I might not even like the piece. It's just too much to spend for me. But anyway, that's uh, getting sidetracked there. <laughs> All right. So with the Witch's Moon, we always get a, um, and I'm going to turn this upside down actually so that we see the back of the card. We always get a an oracle card that's tied to the information sheet. So this is a back. This is a really cool uh, backing and very neat. Um, I'm not sure what the deck is because I actually didn't read anything in here. So I will look up what the deck is. But I was actually really happy with the oracle card that I got. I got peace, which is fine. There's a candle. But it's about the goddess Bridget. And I'm over the moon about that you know um because i've really like there's been three uh deities that i've felt the most called to i i guess is the right um term i don't know but or drawn to the the there's three deities i've i felt the most drawn to in the past year or so and that is uh the morrigan of course um but also the god lou and the goddess Bridget. So Morgan, Bridget, and Lou right now are um, the three deities that I that I felt the most drawn to. So, and I've been thinking about uh, Bridget lately. Um, yeah. So uh, to get this as my oracle card, Bridget, goddess in your sacred name, uh, a light within me, pieces flame. It's it's just like. <laughs> it's so perfect for me. And uh, I did just recently um, start to set up um, my Bridget altar. Uh, so I will be putting this on her altar. So there we go. I'm super happy with this. <laughs> All right. And uh, let me move the witch's roots stuff out of the way here because I still have this over here. There we go. Then I can put all the witches moon stuff right there. <laughs> okay, so let me open this up. And so this theme is called the Weaver. And um, I'm going to say the same thing I do every time with uh, these papers that we get. Uh, we normally get three pieces of paper. Uh, the last piece is blank so that we can use it for our own spell work or, you know, to write petitions or to use in Book of Shadows, whatever. Um, so we have a blank piece of paper and I appreciate that. But this is my only gripe <laughs> is that these are not front and back. And I feel like it's a waste of paper to print two on two different pages here. It just makes a lot more sense um, environmentally to just print on one page front and back. But I, you know, I, I guess it's my own personal like 
pet peeve, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so let me see if I can find what the, uh, what that Oracle card is. A shielder. A, the dog has just come in and she smell. I have some of the, oh gosh, the tissue paper from the box is on the ground and she's rubbing all over it. Oh gosh. Okay. Personalized Oracle reading. Uh, so the deck is Magical Spell Cards uh, deck by Lucy uh, Cavendish. So yeah, I'm definitely going to look into this deck because this, the card, super thick and sturdy. Like, wow, this is, this is real thick um, and super sturdy. Sorry about the dog. <laughs> I'm sure you couldn't hear his papers <laughs> crunching. It's the... It's the tissue paper that came in the boxes. She's just, she really gets those smells. But yeah, love this deck. Fantastic. Bless you. Okay, so one of the small artwork we have is this. Well, this is kind of like a little enchantment uh, I wish upon. So through, through sparkling sight, through pure of might, I wish upon... Oh, come to light, written in ink, loud and clear, allow my intentions to manifest, appear. For within this wish, I place my heart with gifts of beauty. The clock now starts. I allow this wish to wander uh, uh, absorbed by the unforeseen. I trust its message will be read. A shining star starlit seed uh, through sparkling sight, through pure of might. I wish upon, oh, come to light, so mote it be. G. Ibis. And this person G. Ibis seems to be the person that they get to write their um, uh, various spells and stuff that come in these boxes. So very, very nice. Um, I will definitely scan this. Uh, I might actually give this though to one of my daughters. Um, kind of like what I did with the unicorn thing that we got in the previous uh, Witch's Moon box. Uh, it was very pretty, but unicorns aren't really my thing. So um, but I knew my oldest daughter loves unicorns, so I got a frame for that and put that in on her altar, and she loves it. Um, but I might give this to my younger daughter. Um, yeah, I think this is beautiful. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is... <clears throat> there we go. All right, so we have two artworks here, big artwork. So with the witch's moon, with the witch's roots, we get like two or three like smaller sheets like this. They're, I think they're five by seven. And with the witch's moon, we get these eight by 10 pieces as well. Uh, we get we usually get one or so smaller pieces, and then we've got the large pieces that come with it. So we have the Spirits of Fate. I don't know if I actually showed you guys this one. Let's see if we can see it. <laughs> All right, Spirits of Fate. So it seems to be a lot about the uh, uh, Greek fates. Sorry about the dog. <laughs> um, yeah, so this looks very interesting. It's a beautiful artwork, and we have, the, see, there's, they've got the, the spinning um, thread here, weaving fate. That's the whole theme of this box is weaving fate. Um, yeah, very beautiful. And then we have uh, to weave a wish. Um, very much goes along with this, I think. Um, so, yeah, um, the art of weaving. This is all very, I'm sure, very interesting. Beautiful artwork, as always. I love the colors. This uh, purple is one of my favorite colors, so um, this is definitely very, very lovely. All right, next up we have our candle, and with the witch's roots, we get the half-size candle, and witch's moon, we get a full-size candle. So we have a, like, a lavender-colored um, candle, and the same sort of deal with the other one. Uh, you can open these up, kind of warm warm it up a little bit so it doesn't so it opens up more easily because it is beeswax and you open it up you can put your oils in there you can put your herbs and then close it up and use it and I will probably use this candle for my Bjeltena ritual ritual so the next holiday that is coming up so there we go all right love it so we have our incense. It is manifest. I'm not going to smell it right now because I have that amber incense going and I'm sure it smells great. <laughs> but manifest, that's our incense. 
Um, our oil is Weaver. Let me see if I can smell this though. Oh, it's like, it almost smells like candy. So yeah, and you can see all the little bits and pieces. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up, but there's all sorts of little bits and pieces in there. Probably lavender. I think I see lavender in there. So I'm going to open it real quick. Yeah, I, I think there's lavender in this. So probably lavender and, and a few other things. And a lot of times they put like a crystal in here too. But anyway, so there we go. There's the oil. Um, let's see, herbs. We have three herbs. We have St. John's wort. Uh, black cohosh and blue cornflower. So fantastic. Um, these are very um, medical. <laughs> uh, St. John's wort, uh, St. John's wort, and black cohosh are often used for um, medical things. Uh, St. John's wort is often used for depression. Uh, this is not medical advice, by the way, and <laughs> do not take uh, these herbs, um, especially coming from a box like this. These are not for uh, internal use, <laughs> but um, in a more controlled setting um, with, uh, you know, herbs that you might get from a, a more a food safe uh, environment. Uh, St. John's wort is often used for um, help to help with depression. Uh, and black cohosh is often used for uh, menstrual cramps. Uh, absolutely should not use this if you're pregnant because it can in, um, cause contractions. So uh, again, I am not giving medical advice here. Do not take what I say. Um, take what I say with a grain of salt. Do your own research and speak to a doctor. Um, but uh, I plan to use these for spell work. So and I'm sure uh, the paper will give a more clear information on what you could use these herbs for, for um, your spell work. So there we go. Um, and then we have the Bieltna uh, Blessing Salt. Uh, I'm really happy to be getting these Sabbat salts every, every box or every other box. Oh, wow. That's strong smelling. It's very perfumey, which like I said earlier, I, I'm actually not the biggest fan of perfume, <laughs> but um, it, this is great for Bieltna. Um, I definitely plan, plan to use that for Bieltna and I might actually use this for an upcoming weight loss spell that I plan to do. So there we go. So I might use that for that. Now the final item uh, in this box, it was a two item thing and I actually already have it hanging up. So I'm going to go grab that and bring it over and show what the final item is. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see this, but we have a hanging. Oh, I forgot the crystal that came in it. I left it in the box. <laughs> well, let me open the crystal real quick. And I forget what crystal this is. Uh, if I remember, I will put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, this is an interesting crystal. Like I have not seen anything like this before. I believe it starts with an A, but I cannot remember what it is. This is super awesome. Um, very unique and interesting. So very cool crystal. <laughs> Sorry about that. Forgot about the crystal. Um, and then we have this weaved uh, like macrame hanging with a bowl in it. And the bowl has a triquetra in the middle and it sits uh, nicely inside this hanging. So very cool. Um, you know, I sort of wish uh, like, I love this. I think it's really unique and interesting. And I'm definitely planning on using the bowl to hold um, magical uh, items, <laughs> you know, uh, probably items to be charged and might hang this in a window so that it can uh, uh, charge or whatever. Um, but part of me, you know, being the crafty person that I am, part of me kinds, kind of wishes that it this was like a kit that we could make the item ourselves. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that was that's too much to ask because I'm sure most people are happy to have the item already made for them. <laughs> so, you know, so because I, but I did used to do um, a little bit of I wouldn't say macrame, but uh, th like I used to do necklaces just like this, uh, the hemp necklaces and stuff. Um, 
so yeah, I I kind of would have enjoyed making this myself, you know, like with some instructions and uh, the whatever kind of yarn this is and yeah but other other than that as you know my own like oh I want to do it myself sort of thing this is really cool and unique and interesting and again another hit with this box because um I've just you know every box that I've gotten for the witch's moon even if the items in it weren't exactly for me here there um, it's all been really cool and interesting and well worth the $50 a month. At least that's my opinion. <laughs> so, um, even if sometimes I give some of the items to my kids, um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me really. And, uh, I've, I've always been very happy with what I've gotten with the witch's moon. All right. So, um, there we go. So that is what we got in the witch's moon and the witch's roots. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Blessed be. Bye.